Hey everybody, this is Matt Sparkle Farm. It's like 70 and sunny today. Um, it's great. We're going to take advantage of the nice weather. Uh, ground is still too wet to till anything, so we're going to take advantage of the nice weather by uh, cutting down some dead trees, some pines that are just in the way, and we're going to chop them up into just big chunks and throw them on the burn pile and just get rid of those today. So let's get to it. So I pulled out the old farm boss, it's the MS310, and then we got the MS193. <clears throat> so I, just, I put a new blade on this one today. It's a 20 inch bar. <sighs> Uh, we're gonna see how the chain works. It's uh, some aftermarket one I bought off of eBay. Um, chains are pretty pricey, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, when I put it on, I could tell it was not as heavy as the factory one I had on here, but I wanted to get a couple extra backup chains uh, just, just so you can keep the ball. Uh, rolling when you're cutting if you don't want to be down with a bad cha or dull chain. So let's gas and oil it up.
pretty good load. Let's go dump this. So right here is a giant pine that fell probably about near, actually last winter, during one of the ice storms we had. Um, is, uh, we weren't even living here yet, and I just, within the month, finished the gas line to the house. And I think because I dug up all right around that tree, uh, finally just couldn't take it so it's gonna chop this up into I don't know probably six foot logs and I'll roll them onto the forks <laughs> verdict on these uh, new chainsaw chains I'm not gonna even say oh, what company I bought them from on eBay but awful like I shouldn't have had to work that hard for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten, like 12 cuts max this shouldn't have been like that um, so I'll hit them with a sharpener at some point but uh, yeah, we're gonna call this a, a lose for Team Sparkle Farm, but it's cut up. Let's go 
grab some more of the smaller stuff and dump this and uh, we'll bring back the the can't hook and, move, and roll these logs on the forks. All right, so this will, I'm gonna grab as many of these as I can. I'm gonna use the can't hook. Uh, I've been cutting wood for years and years. I've never used one before. But things around here seem to keep getting heavier and heavier, so I struggle. So moving the logs, uh, maybe run into a little problem with the old Ford. Uh, hydraulics don't seem to be working as smooth as they usually do. Uh, so I brought it back in the workshop and I'm gonna check it out tonight or tomorrow morning. And I think I, I know I got some seals on the front leaking and everything kind of all works off the same uh, reservoir. So I'm gonna check all the fluids, like I said, tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, kind of just do a once over. I might have air in the hydraulic line um, or this waterlogged logs are just heavy. It uh, seems like I can lift about five, 600 pounds, no problem. Anything above that, uh, the tractor starts riding a little funny and just doesn't lift. So who knows what, how heavy those logs were. All right, I'm gonna go, I left the can't stick up front and yeah, I'm gonna go walk up and grab that. But I have a feeling that's it for logs today until uh, I figure out what's going on with the Ford. It's uh, morning here, it's a nice day, but storms are gonna be rolling in. It looks okay to the south, but over the workshop, uh, storms are coming, so I wanted to get one quick thing done outside before it starts pouring for a little bit today it gets everything wet so uh, there's gonna be a number of projects coming up with the backhoe and the step right here well honey's my co-pilot and it's almost i feel it's safer for me when she's just riding with me on the backhoe um so my big concern is that most of the time she just leaps right up there, but every now and then she'll step on the grate. So I don't want her paw to get stuck in there or her leg or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is straighten this out the best we can. And I have a old uh, semi truck flap or dump truck mud flap. And we're gonna cut it to fit and zip tie it to it so she can't get stuck. Things you do for your dog. I don't think much is going to happen there. Uh, I moved it a little bit, got a little more square, but uh, there's nothing good to pry against and uh, I want to get this on before honey gets hurt. So I'm just eyeballing this. Uh, does not need to be perfect by any means. So let's take this, mark it with our razor knife and let's cut it. So it doesn't cut too bad. Now I'm just gonna score it a bunch. Good. 
Now I have a matte near near line. I might have to go get the sledge. Let's adjust it a little more. Actually, let's grab a pipe wrench and see if we can just twist it straight. Right? We might have to put a cheater on it, but let's see what we can do for honey. Alright, so I got that. That sure won't bend it. So you gotta get your cheater out. Okay, so that's definitely a lot better than it was. It's definitely not great. We're not gonna pull it in the shop and heat it up and get it all square, you know. It's just a, a step. Just keep fitting it. Right, now I have my tread here. I notched it so it'll slide under good. I have it so it's just a little edge out and save me from whacking my shin on it, I hope. So I'm just going to put a couple zip ties in it and we should be in good shape. Then where it goes. All right, we have, eh, I might put one here just so I don't get my toe caught on it. But honey. I have the zip tie here, let's just do it. All right, let me show you what we got here. So we got our flat surface, just zip tied. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna cut the dikes. Cut 
cut it off. Guess what? That's it. <sighs> All right, let's see if honey will come up on the backhoe. Come on. <laughs> and she doesn't even use it. All right, well, makes me feel better. Like I said, every now and then I'll see like her paws like eh, all crazy hooked on this. <sighs> but one less thing to worry about with uh, operating backhoe on Sparkle Farm. All right, thanks everybody. All right, that's usually where honey is. Like, she loves riding on the backhoe. Uh, like, whatever I usually end up doing, like she's just there sitting next to me on it or sitting behind me on the seat. Sometimes it's uh, a little irritating, but uh, it's safer to have her up there with me than running around uh, where I'm working. <laughs>